Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a gear review and we are going to be looking at the Flare 58X. This is a really stunning uh, coffee brewer. This is, for those of you who don't know, it's a lever manual espresso brewer. So there's no electronics on this. Um, and I'm going to just show you my kind of first impressions, give you my thoughts. So without further ado, let's look at the beauty of this brewer. Okay, so let's start and look a little bit at the kind of build quality of this espresso brewer and uh, some of the equipment that you get with it. So to start with, this is a really, really lovely looking brewer. If you know me, I love wooden features and accents on my brew bar um, and I've got kind of wood and black accents going on. This fits in just perfectly with my whole brew bar and it's just, it's not too big, it's nice and clean, minimal, um, and it's really easy to keep clean as well. So the whole body is made of um, metal and then it's basically powder coated with like this matte black finish, which looks really nice. Uh, and then you've got like the brew head, which um, is obviously metal. And then you've got like a rubber gasket bit on the outside, which is really nice. Um, and then you've got like the bottomless porter filter, which, oh my gosh, I love bottomless porter filter anyway. And then this has a really nice wooden uh, handle. And then the same on this little lever bit here, there's like some wooden accents on it. So everything about the design of this is just beautiful. Uh, really good quality, really lovely, and just looks beautiful on the brew bar. Okay, let's look a little bit at some of the features of the brewer and kind of what's included when you purchase it. So the thing that I really love about the Flare 58 series is you've got the Flare 58X, which we've got here, and then the Flare 58. The Flare 58 is, um, you have the option of having an electronic uh, like little part built in, and that kind of like preheats your uh, brew head for you and everything. But then you have the option like the X, where basically you have no electronics, nothing to plug in. It's a standalone unit and you just, you just brew with it. And I really, really like that. There's something really peaceful and relaxing about brewing espresso and there's like just no noise, no electronics involved, um, particularly as well if you sort of hand grinding for that, um, then there's just like this really relaxing taking time out element, which I really, really love. So this machine is 58 millimeters uh, as a standard, which of course is like a commercial standard. So this means that it's really easy to get any sort of baskets if you have a certain preference on a type of basket that you like, um, or if you wanna get any other extra bits, uh, like distribution tools and things like that, um, then that's really easy to get hold of as opposed to some of, uh, some of the other home machines out on the market, the electronic ones where it's 54 millimeters and it can be a little bit harder to find like really nice quality parts. So that's a win. So included with the Flare 58X, you obviously have the uh, lever and the base, which you assemble. You will get this really nice little puck screen, uh, which sits on top of the coffee that you've just tamped. You will get a porter filter uh, with a 16 gram to 20 gram basket inside. You've got your uh, 58 millimeter tamper. You've got your drip tray and then you've got your preheat cap which uh, we'll look at in a little bit on how to preheat our uh, brewing head. You've of course got the brewing head which removes and you've got the uh, pressure gauge. So how easy is the flare to set up? It's really simple. It took me a few minutes and basically you, you get it just in part. So you get the base um, and then you get the sort of top lever bit. Um, and then all you need to do is screw those two together. Um, you just need to make sure that it's aligned properly because otherwise your handle will be out and you don't want that when you're brewing. Uh, my best advice to you is to go on to the Flare YouTube channel and then on there they've got um, a really good video on how to sort of set everything up and make sure that everything's aligned. But it's really straightforward. And then once you're set up, you're pretty much good to start brewing, which is exciting. What is a puck screen? I mentioned this in what's included. So this basically um, sits on top of your coffee. Once you've ground and tamped it into your porter filter, you then place this on top. That's because the Flare 58X does not have a shower screen built in. Uh, so like on sort of you see espresso machines and they've got a little shower screen built into the group head where you put your porter filter in. 
uh, it doesn't have that and you actually use this and this helps to distribute the water evenly to prevent channeling. So this is actually a really nice feature that I really like because this means that cleaning is just super simple. So in terms of like espresso machines, um, you have to kind of scrub up inside, you have to, you know, filter water through the machine um, and cleaning chemicals through the machine uh, in order to clean it. Whereas this, once you've finished brewing your coffee, you remove the porta filter, tap out your puck and this will just fall out and then you just give it a rinse off and then it's ready to go again. So if you've never used a lever machine before or a manual sort of coffee brewer, um, this is really fun. Uh, it's a bit different and uh, it's a really cool, fun way to brew espresso. So this machine retails at about £485 roughly. Um, it does seem like a higher price point, but in terms of build quality, the materials used um, and the insane quality of espresso that comes out of this machine you really can't fault it for that money um, I would happily happily pay that this is a great machine for anyone who kind of wants to take their espresso at home a little bit more seriously uh, maybe you don't want an electric you know loud kind of espresso machine at home maybe you want something that's just really quiet uh, and just really relaxing to brew with then this is for you maybe you don't want a huge you know espresso machine on your counter this is also a great little uh, device for you guys um, and yeah maybe you don't want to have an espresso machine because you don't you know drink milk for example you don't like milk based drinks you purely drink espresso in that case this is ideal and it's a great machine for anyone who appreciates quality and quality design quality parts um 100 it's just really lovely quality um and flair have just done an incredible job on designing this machine so that is it for today guys um i hope this was sort of helpful just getting you an insight into the basics of the flare 58x um and i'm going to be doing another video soon um about brewing on the flare 58x and yes there will be a video coming on that soon uh, so stay, stay tuned and uh have a great day guys and i'll see you soon bye